what's going on guys it's your boy zip tim back with another video and in this video i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to downgrade your gta 4. let's get right into it first thing you guys want to do locate your steam locate the game and mine is actually the complete edition. I believe all GTA 4s are actually the complete edition. Now I do not know that for a fact. So correct me if I am wrong. But I believe they are. So you'll right click. Go to manage. Browse local files. Now I highly recommend to make a backup of GTA 4. Unless you guys don't really give a fuck. And you guys just want to full send it. So this is what a clean install should look like. Okay. Just like this basic shit you know what i'm saying and that's going to be inside these right here this is your directories and we'll get into that here in a minute so just go ahead and minimize that for now and now in the link in the description it's going to take you to this website you're going to go down here you're going to click the gta 4 downgrader version 1.6 okay and you're going to click it and then what it's going to do is it's going to take you to this website once it loads there's going to be a little download button some people will be missing it, and they'll look around, you'll be like, you know, where the fuck do I download? It's right here. Right there, you know what I'm saying? You click it, it's going to download. I already downloaded it, so I'm not, for the sake of the video, I'm not actually going to re-download it, because my PC doesn't need it. I already have it. So, go ahead and close those two websites. You don't need nothing else anymore. Unless you want LCPDFR, which I can go into depth on how to install and i might or might not depends on how the video goes and if i feel like doing it towards the end and uh yeah so first thing you guys want to do is pull this gta 4 downgrader version 1.6 to your actual desktop and once it's to the desktop you want to go ahead and extract it this can take you know five seconds 10 15 seconds sometimes 30 maybe even a couple minutes depending on how fast your actual internet and pc are once you're done with this you can kind of just slide it off to the side because you won't need it no more now, you have this. You're going to go ahead and open it, and you're going to have a set of files in here. Now, before you run it, and even I would probably do this before, actually, you even extract it, okay? You guys need to go to privacy, okay? Or, um, I believe, actually, correction, correction, my bad. I believe it is virus and threat protection right here. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, you go to virus and threat protection, and um, people say to keep it off. Um, I did have mine off. It obviously turned itself back on, so we're going to see, but I'm just going to turn it off. You know what? Ooh, do I test it? No, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for now, because that's what I always usually do, I should say, when doing any sort of downloading any other files that aren't from like a named brand or named source you know what i'm saying because most of the time it's going to detect it as a threat and not allow it to go through now what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to double click on the gta 4 downgrader inside the file it's going to bring up this box it's real simple you're going to hit next now it's going to ask you for the gta 4's executable file now where this is going to be most of the time unless yours is located different which it shouldn't this is where it should be your c drive program files 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4, and then right here is going to be your executable file that it needs. So you're going to hit enter, and it's going to tell you that it's a valid file. If it does not say valid file, that means you, you went somewhere wrong, you clicked the wrong thing, you, you aren't on the right one. So make sure you guys follow the video, make sure you guys put it where it's supposed to. Hit next. Now, it's going to say no problems were found while generating and comparing the MD5 hash. Now, this is really good. This is what you want. Now, if you pop up and it says <clears throat> something like, oh, there's a problem, and it's like yellow or whatever, and says there's a problem, just go back into the Steam and verify your integrity files, uh, which if you don't know how to do that, you right-click, Properties, Local Files, Verify Integrity of Game Files. You'll go ahead and click that, and it'll take a few minutes, and then it'll download some files if you are missing it, and then you just rerun this, and it should be green. You should be good to go. Then you hit next, and now it's going to ask you if you want to move it to another location. I actually skipped this part because I don't like to touch none of that stuff. I don't know why. I just didn't ever feel like it was a necessity to touch it. So 
you're gonna hit skip unless you guys want to move it somewhere to a specific directory you guys can I'm just not gonna do it because I don't know if it's gonna mess it up and I'm not gonna attempt to so we're gonna go ahead and click 1.070 because that's obviously the one we need to play LCPDFR and you're gonna go ahead and hit next and then right here um, you got radio downgrader by Sneed or you can do the legacy radio downgrader um, I believe it's just about stations and FM radios and stuff like that. Now, Radio Downgrader by Sneed, you're just, I mean, that's what I'm most like because I don't really listen to it. And then, um, as known as, you know, or new songs combined or choose if you only want pre-cut songs. You know, so I'm probably just going to do pre-cut songs because that's like the old. Now, this is the main most important thing that you guys want to make sure you guys do right okay so you guys need this zalika patch i could have pronounced that wrong but this is the fix for not needing this so you won't need it this or this so what you're going to need is this you're going to need the menu because that's going to be your little uh trainer menu x live which is um i believe what allows you to go online oh no it also disables x live um so yeah and it's required for mods for this so you have to have that and then Steam Achievements, that's actually totally up to you guys if you guys actually want that. And so is Simple Traffic Loader, but um, this is for the famous taxi bug where only taxis spawn on the street. Um, I've never really had an issue with it, but I just put it just in case. Um, you're going to want Script Hook for 1.0.7.0. And then you can leave these two unchecked and the Steam Achievements unchecked unless you guys want that. And then after you guys are done with that, you guys are going to hit Next. And it's going to ask you guys if you want to make a backup. If you guys did not make a backup, I highly recommend to do it now. Unless you guys want to continue on with just your main files. And that will be perfectly fine too. So you're going to go ahead and hit downgrade. And I'm going to speed this part up for you guys. Because obviously it's going to take a minute. But this usually takes around 1 to 2 minutes. And throughout all this, you will get a couple prompts that are going to tell you, you know, yes or no. Just go ahead and hit yes on all those and allow them to go through and install what you are missing. And I will um, go ahead and speed this back. Standing in the cold, cold rain. I don't even feel the pain. Anything to step away. I know we could both do better. Wish you would've left me here Now I'm just controlled by fear What's the point in our reflection If you never look in the mirror Counting the days until you're gone Waiting for us to carry on Oh, I'm running, what am I running from? Time's going by, but where's the time going? I tried to give you everything You took it all and took it for granted If you're still falling out of love Okay guys, so once you guys get the current step finished and allows you to click next, you guys can go ahead and click next. And now here you guys will have a little bit of information and you really don't have to read none of this. This is just save file downgrading. I don't really even know what that is to be 100%, but you guys can read it if you like, but go ahead and hit next. Now, this is where a lot of people have their mistakes and ask a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of questions. And never ever gets responded on YouTube. And you know what? I'm going to just settle it right now. You know what I'm saying? So this includes non-restrict. Uh, no, Oh, my bad. No memory restrict. And no restrictions. Now, the mistake that people make is to also include windowed. Because here's the thing is it won't always load in windowed mode sometimes you'll sit in the loading screen for you know 45 minutes and it tell you that the game's no longer responding and crash and then you'd be like well why isn't it working and then you never get a reply you know but or nobody actually answers your question the right way just try this first 
also include windowed just don't have that ever just don't have a windowed option and any sort of command line or nothing in your game and you should be all right go ahead and hit next and then it's going to say some final notes make sure to run gta iv through play gta v e x e you can also launch gta 4 through steam the problem with that is if rockstar should update gta 4 your downgrade copy will be destroyed okay so that means do not go and start it on Steam or you will break your shit. That's self-explanatory. Don't hit play GTA 4. I'll show you guys what to do. So go ahead and hit exit. Now, now that you guys have had that got got that done, okay? You guys can go ahead and go over to manage, go to browse local files again. Now you guys are going to notice that there is a lot more files, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and set my OBS up here to be ready. Okay. So as you guys see, you got episodes from Liberty City and you got Grand Theft Auto 4. I believe you can play both. I don't. Just go to Grand Theft Auto 4. And as you guys will notice, this screen will look totally different from what it used to. Because when you click it, it should just take you right in the game. Now this has options, all that, the live, all that good things. And also while this loads, if anybody knows how to get the actual multiplayer features to work where you guys can play with each other, that would be great. And just leave that down in the comments because me and my buddy's currently looking for a method and it's hard to find one. So if you guys got one, let me know on that. But yeah, this should only take a couple seconds and we should be loaded up in here. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I said, definitely going to load it's already loaded as you guys can tell now if your character is invisible as you can tell because they are guys as you guys noticed that's how that's done now um, if you guys are looking into wanting to get LCPDFR it's very simple you literally just go to Google Chrome just like this and you're gonna go just like this and type in LCPDFR GTA IV download okay just like that real simple you're gonna get a first response legacy edition okay do not get the legacy edition okay just go to agree to download come down here to the 1.1 installer no ads or you can do the manual I just prefer to do the installer it's gonna say click here I always like to just click here it gets it downloaded a lot like immediately sometimes it'll pop up immediately you can wait whatever you want to do once you guys get this, just go ahead and drag this to your desktop. You guys can close this now and go ahead and open it. Now this is the easy part. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see videos on how to install ELS, all that type of stuff, just let me know down in the comments and I'll get it going for you guys. Now right here, you guys don't have to touch nothing. Go next, install. And it's going to automatically install to where it needs to go. You can open up the configuration panel thing. Give it a second and it will pop up for you any minute. Now it's going to actually install and then when you hit launch the configuration panel, we should get a configuration panel on screen, which it might not because like I said, it was buggy just a minute ago, but I will show you guys that it is working and for some reason my shit just wants to not pop up, but a panel should pop up. If it don't, you guys can just go in here, go to LCPDFR first response. And for some reason, that is so odd. Okay, so for some reason, okay, and I don't know why, it just made another file, okay? So anyways, if you guys have this happen to you guys, just go inside here, and when I mean literally just move the shit over, just move and drop the shit over, replace. I guess not, okay. Well anyways, yeah, copy it over just like so, and then just give the game another start, and like I said, I'll get this shit fixed real quick, and I'll see you guys in the game. Alright guys, once you guys are in, as you guys notice my character is back, like I said, all you had to do was just reload. <clears throat> you guys are going to press Alt-P, 
as you guys notice welcome to lc pdfr i'm not actually going to take you guys to the police stations <clears throat> because you guys should know what lc pdfr actually is i mean let's be real here you guys should definitely know what it is um and yeah your game is crashed why you know i for the life of me i cannot find out why every time i close the game it thinks that I'm crashing, but I'm not crashing, I'm closing the game, maybe I'm closing it wrong, I don't know, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys comment down in the description and let me know, not in the description, down in the comment section, you know what I meant though, and all the links and all that will be in the description, and if you guys don't know, I have a Gary's Mod server open, so if you guys play Gary's Mod, make sure to go down in the description and join the Discord, or if you just want to join the Discord to come hang out, you can do that as well, and uh, yeah, so I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.